Alright, this is the beginning of making an AC powered potter's wheel with an AC motor. Okay, because it's powered with an AC motor, you'll need to have a different pulley system so then that way the pulleys will actually monitor the motor speed for you instead of being able to do it digitally. The things that you'll need, you'll need a large, this is an 8 inch pulley, and all the stuff that I'm working with right now is half inch bore, uh, which means that these holes right here in the pulley, they're half inch, that means that this guy measures half inch um, in diameter. This is a foot long shaft, half inch. You'll need a larger belt. Um, I'm not too sure how many feet this is, but you'll need it long enough, about two, three feet long. You'll need half inch bearings, two different sets. You'll want a pillow bearing, and you'll also want a block bearing. Okay, and then your second pulley system, you'll want to go ahead and get two pillow bearings, a smaller belt, another half inch staff. Now this one's only about six inches in length. And you'll want to get a pulley that has either dual or triple pulleys on it. This is just one pulley and it's got three pulleys on it all together. Then here I've got a couple of hinges. Okay. And over here we went ahead and we picked up an AC motor for about ten bucks at just any garage sale surplus store or um, any kind of a junkyard. They're pretty easy to come by. It's, uh, I think it's three quarters of a horsepower, 1700 RPMs. You don't really want anything going faster than that. Then you'll want to go ahead and construct a desk. And you'll want to give yourself a little bit of room in here. The average wheel head is 12 inches. So you'll want to make sure that this can fit a 12 inch round space um, for the wheel head. Okay, I went ahead and built up here. This is a little cubby hole for tools. Okay, and I left a desk area up here so then that way we can go ahead and put a bucket of water on this. Okay, and you'll want to go ahead and leave the underneath of your desk totally empty. That way you can go ahead and fit your motor in there. And the other thing you'll want to make sure of is to make sure that this does not rock. You'll want to make sure that it's totally stable because there's going to be a lot of weight put on this. Also, to keep in mind while you're building this, splash pans are pretty hard to construct after the fact. If you build a splash pan out of wood, which means just put something around the wheel head so that way you won't have water or clay flying everywhere. And what we do is we go ahead and we just put a thing of wood around and we'll end up drilling a hole here on this side so that way the water will come out and put a bucket on that side. So again, AC motor, desk, and pulley systems.